Check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got the whole squad in the building. Squad. Wyman is here. Squad, 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 squad. Alex is here. Yes, hey, and um, first of all, can I feel we like give that deserves a drum roll? Yeah, can we give a special everybody? Can we give a special congratulations and welcome to the team? Monique is in the building now. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 I gang, like gang. Monique. Monique came in ready too. She, she came in here she working. She came in ready. She came I in here it. working. Shout Let's out to go. Monique. She's officially on the squad, the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Shout out to us for extending the team. Shout out to her for being on the team. You know what I'm saying? She came in. She 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 got the shit done. She you know what I'm saying? Hair. She making sort of stuff on the screen. Yeah. She got everything. She got on it done. Shit Take a can we take a drink for that? God damn it. Ooh. Take a page out of Noriega's book. Take a drink for that. Shout out to my guy Noriega and Drink Chat. They just had a great interview with uh. My nigga Floyd Mayweather, so shout out to them. But shout out to us, god damn it. You feel what I'm saying? God damn, god damn. Shout out to Bel Air for sponsoring the podcast. Yeah. Thank shout out to y'all, you know what I'm saying? We waiting for our next shipment, but shout out to Bel Air, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know Jay gotta come being petty because he is petty. Kid. That ain't petty, I'm just the realest. God damn it. Uh, petty, realest, all treading lightly, you know. All right, man. Alex, on. you getting your cup ready? What you doing, Alex? You yeah, chilling? Uh, I'm, Alex I'm working. over there for Monique, too. Monique's Alex working. Up. All right, all right, fuck it then. We're just us, fuck it. Well, Monique wanted no, some? Yeah, yeah. Get, get Monique, Monique her. Oh, no, no, no. Get Monique, um. You want to give her the bottle over there? Get her the, get her the, what's she trying to get? Lit, lit? Monique, what you want? Get her the gin. 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 Mix it with the orange yeah, juice. Yeah, mix it with the orange juice. Good, I promise you. All right, um, uh. Where we at? What's up? So we had a couple things that happened this week, weekend. Oh my God, it's Val, it was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh. It was Valentine's Day. All right, let me do it like we this. We even put all the balloons over here. Jay got me all these pretty flowers and balloons. I was supposed to put it here, but I failed to do that. So here we are. First and Looking foremost, from afar, I ain't gonna be petty. First and foremost, shout out to uh, shout out to you, babe. Why are you saying? I want to tell you that. Shout out to you because Aww. you're a real one. Aww. I'm gonna tell you why you're a real one. Aww. So I honestly, I was not feeling like this Valentine's Day, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because. It was just a hard year. Like, Valentine's Day felt like fucking Christmas. Like, it felt like, mm -hmm. you know how you was feeling on, like, Thanksgiving break and yeah. Christmas break? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't say nothing to nobody, but Valentine's Day Got felt like that. seasonal blues. Yeah, because I was yeah. like, yo, what the fuck, son? Yeah. Like, a nigga is, I don't have it right now. Yeah. And you was just like, so, shout out to uh, Talia, too, for being late. <laughs> <laughs> because she played a part in it, too. So, I was shout like, man. Shout out to my boo, Talia. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, man. I had this little bit of ass. I think it was like two hundred dollars. I'm like, we gonna go out to eat. Fuck it, I'm gonna just spend this or whatever. And shout out to Brandon too. Cause so I'm gonna let y'all know why why I'm shouting all these people. Cause they all played a part. And but you get the big shout out. So I'm gonna say you the goat for that, right? So this is what happened. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna spend this two hundred dollars on dinner. We gonna go enjoy ourselves. It ain't it ain't much, but we gonna do what we gotta do. I spent like seventy five dollars on like flowers and shit. Don't ask me why. And they were beautiful flowers. <laughs> no, why we looked up like what? Like don't yeah, ask me. they were no, beautiful because, flowers. All right, first of all, fresh. And then he brought some. Hold on, because he brought uh -oh. some to my school. Dropped her off lunch and brought her flowers to her school. And uh, be careful with that. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, you can bring the oranges back, please, please, because this is a little tart. Uh, but. I'm putting them more just by my hand. No, I probably need some more. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> so why I spent seventy five dollars? Because I'm pretty sure people spend way more than this. Why, man? Because I know you looked at me crazy. Because when, <laughs> when you have a girlfriend and a daughter, this just what you have to do. So, right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? So um, so finish with my story. So, so Talia had like um, she had to work or whatever emergency call at work. So it kind of like slowed up the process of the her making. Talia is my hairstylist. She was doing my yeah, hair. Of getting shot of hair. She did a great job though. Still, I say shout out to Brandon because Brandon had a move the next day. His birthday party he had the twenty seven suits or whatever. Mm -hmm. We are gonna go into that and the look and everything. Mm -hmm. And so all this played a part in why Shade is the goat. Cause Shade was like she was rushing home. She got her hair done. She could have been like, you know what? I'm still trying to go out. Whatever. She was like, you know what, babe? We don't gotta go out. You know what I'm saying? We could just kick it. Go find something to wear for tomorrow to Brandon's ball. You know what I'm saying? We can just go there. And I'm like, at that moment, she ain't even know. I'm like, oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, I'm sad. like, like it was like, you know how when it happens, come up, like, oh. Like, that's how it was for me. So I just want, I wanted to add everybody in because they all played a part. But Shade definitely, she was the ice and She was like, you know what, babe? We don't have to go. So we could just kick it tomorrow at Brandon's party and we could just enjoy that. So shout out to you for being a real one. Drink to that shit. You're not going to cheers me? You just want to drink? How many times do we gotta go through this? Every uh, time, 
Don't start it's it. Like, don't start it. Don't start the like, bullshit. I don't mean to like interrupt the, you know what I mean, my cute little shout out. On, but Get it just feels joy. like every time we're supposed to cheers. You just like shout out she to She could that. have kept it at, you going to cheers but me? We were cheers and then good. And then she had to go into the complain, had, complain, complain. God damn. I just got to let it be known. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, look, here, we still, you know, my hand just. We already cheers. Poor right? hand. <laughs> we, we cheers, Thank baby. you. <laughs> but overall, I had such an amazing Valentine's Day. Like, because it just was, so me and Jay, well, excuse me, Jay and I exchanged letters this year. Oh, uh, yeah, and that was like so. I don't think I've ever wrote a letter to anybody, and if I did, it, like I, I, I really don't recall ever writing a letter. Mm -hmm. So I write this letter to Jay. I only got the three pages though. I was trying to be off my Aaliyah shit, but my fucking hand got tired because if you don't write letters, let me tell you something: texting and typing, way different than writing out a letter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting here, and I write this letter, and I thought it was so cute because Jay ended up writing me a four-page letter. And he just tells me, I know your arm was hurting, but look, I'm here to finish whatever with you. So I thought it was like phenomenal. So I was just like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to take it back to my, to my, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you try, when you try, <laughs> when you try to get the date. At first, you know, you, you do that yeah, special yeah, shit yeah, when you try yeah. and get the, when you try and get the girl, I had to yeah. take it back. Yeah, That's I'm it. glad you did that. Cause you know, two years later, you know, I need, I needed to. Get me back. All right, but you deserve it. Win me bro. over. You deserve it, right? <laughs> so that was really cute. And like I said, my flowers were amazing. And um, it just was a good day. It was really relaxing. I was really tired from running around, honestly. Um, so it was cool. Like, I was ready to just chill and kick it with him. So we did that. And um, he just going to – Jay think he real slick because he just going to skip to the sneaker bowl. Like, I also oh, didn't shit. say – like we didn't have a spiritual cleanse on Saturday morning. Oh, this is my what God. I just knew. Like it's my like bad, he babe. just, you know, like he was like, yeah, because you know we were prepping for the sneaker ball. We were also prepping for us to get a spiritual cleanse on Saturday morning at seven thirty in the morning, right? So, babe, tell me how your spiritual cleanse went. <laughs> All right. So first and foremost, <laughs> just tell him. Just tell him. All right. The spiritual cleanse was dope. Um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Now we gotta get into the voice. Come know? on, just we come started on, off on a great ready. note. I just been ready for you to just express it. Come on. All right, so let me get my let me get my my protection bag that they gave me because I mean I got protection. Me. Bracelet. He's about to say something crazy. Let me just <sighs> Jesus God, just come on. Nam yoro Rick. Say all right, so <laughs> just ignorant just shit. <laughs> so all right, this what happened. Sorry, God, sorry, sorry. So sorry. uh, Saturday wants to do this this spiritual this spiritual cleansing, yes, right? So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying. I'm not really into that shit, but. You my girl. First of, all, first of all, stop calling it shit. I've asked you that like five times. You, you never asked me that. You complain yes, you about it. You never yes, asked me that. You, right, like, but I did, but you, you know, keep saying that shit. Like you know, but, like, but I did I don't complain like about it. You keep calling it shit. Just can you stop calling it that shit? Like I don't like it's it's that's a very disrespectful. All right, so Bay wanted to take I'm me. I'm sorry, ancestors. Like forgive him for he know not. <laughs> so so Shade wanted to take me. <laughs> sorry. Shade wanted to take me to this this spiritual clean cleansing. This <laughs> he wouldn't say shit. No, so what is bad. it called? The spiritual cleansing. It's just that. It's just that. All right, a spiritual so, cleanse. Right, so Shade took me to get spiritual, Jeez, spli oh, spiritually geez. cleansed. Whatever the fuck. God damn it. Shit. So she took me to get spiritually cleansed, right? Um, and you know, I'm like, I right, bet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? She already got into therapy without me, you know what I'm saying? So this is something that she wanna do with me. So fuck it. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not into it, but this is something that you like, you've been liking. So I'm I wanna like whatever you like, right? So we go there, first red flag. Red flag? To me, it's my story, right? First red flag to oh, me is, let me just let him it's play. in a house. You know. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, so. The house was nice. The house was nice. And the sun, shoot, all right, so the time sun out. came through the house like the gods time, time and the out. heavens. Time out, time out, time out. I'm right. from Baltimore. You we in say? PG County. It's and, not PG. It was actually well, listen, Bethesda. First any, of all, listen, if, any, like, any, come anybody, on, like, be, put some respect on Maryland. All right. So because it was definitely Bethesda. It was not PG County, right, baby. So anybody it's Montgomery County, the talk, richest God damn it, county in the it. nation. Shade, cut it. All right, so sorry. I'm from Baltimore. If you ain't, if you're from Baltimore, anything outside of Baltimore, but not DC in between is PG County. That's, that's just what we call it. That's so I'm not trying to be ignorant, but I'm just letting you know where I'm really from. Ignorant. That's what we do. Um, so. I mean, cause that's going just letting you, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, cause you playing with the paper and the mic. But yeah, so we um we uh it's in the oh what I was saying was I'm over here. So everything, 
every house is big. Be honest, every house is big. It is what it is. So okay, um, we go there as a house. We go in there. Number two is I read the paper and hey Alex, um, can somebody pick out the paper? I heard you read it. No, all right. So on the happened? paper, it was like after you're done, it has some steps to do. Detox. Detox. And I'm like. I could have came up with this shit. But I'm like, you know what? Okay, cool. So I'm like, you know what? I'm here. I'm here with Bay, Right? I'm here with Bay. So third thing was he came up. He's like, okay, so you guys want to, um, who want to go first? I'm like, go first? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I thought we thought it together. I'm like, no, I'm all right. Whatever. Okay, cool. So it's, my girls goes in there. Real talk. I didn't say this, right? Real shit. He's so she's in there, right? I swear to God, yo, I'm like, I hear like this, foof, 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 foof. and so apparently it turned out to be fire and shit. Foof, foof. But you know me, I'm like, what the fuck? And I swear to God, y'all, I swear I heard a moan or something like that. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on, man? Like, I don't even gonna lie. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is going? What type of freaky shit is going on in here, bro? It's a dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm really, I'm, I'm really in my seat. Like, yo, what the? F- What's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, he talking about spiritual cleansing, like. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to get next spiritual cleansing that ass. Like, I'm just trying to, like, what the fuck is going on? But I'm like, all right, I ain't going to be childish. So I'm like, cool. Bro, childish. So I'm like, cool. They spiritual cleansing and shit. So and shit. my turn to go in there. I see a lady. I'm like, all right, bet. There's a lady in here. They want no too freaky because she was old. She had an eyes closed and shit. <laughs> I'm like, it couldn't be. It couldn't be too freaky. She and this motherfucker with the, she closing her eyes like, shaking and shit. I'm like, Oh, they on some Jay-ya. shit. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit, they on some shit. So you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> so so like, this is a real story though. So um, real shit, real shit. Uh, hey, tell me take take my jacket off, take the jacket off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I put it on. A, so like, uh, I laid down and shit. It was cool though. Like, it was cool. What I will say is, I feel like I could have did it at home, but let me get to the positive though. Let me get to the positive. What I will say is, if you got the bread, I'm a broke nigga. So anything like that, I ain't trying to do that. Like, you give me, I'm like, what? You pay for this? We could have the shit in the house by ourselves. We could have we could have been made this a bonding moment. You know what I'm saying? This could have been our bonding moment. Shit, Valentine's Day. We could have made this together. But, however, what I will say is, if you have the money, like on some Arjo side, if you got the bread, right, and you can and you can afford it, and you can um, allow this to happen, it's so relaxing because... The fact that you're you're laying there and he, my eyes, I don't think my eyes been this closed for that long, that amount of time. Born, that yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so no, nah, so um, it was dope. And I what I will say is, so I think my experience was like this because I wanted to be fair to my girlfriend. My girl was like, you know what I'm saying, be open and like, all right, I'm not about to just do it and not be open to it. So like in my mind, I started th- like just how I explained the story. I started thinking about that right, and the first thing I went to was. Yo, the least you can do for Sade is be open for it. So from there, like everything was just positive. Like, and I ain't even bullshitting you because now you probably probably think what I'm thinking. Like, Jay, you want some bullshit? But I'm being real. So like, everything was just positive because it went from like, you know what, yo, the least you can do is just be open for Sade because she took you here. You know what I'm saying? Be open for it. Don't don't waste the experience. So I went from there to like, yo, um, and some people might think it's negative, but I went from there like, yo, I think Sade can do this because Sade is into this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think she can do this. I think she can do it better than this. You know what I'm saying? I'm just. Like everything to me, that like that was a positive thought, and I'm like, yo, this is dope. Like, then they started like praying for forgiveness and things like that. And then they started praying for um, just like learning your lesson and thing. And everybody know about me. I'm big on just my testimony is my lessons because I've been through some shit um, that I had to learn from. Um, and it was just like you know, yeah, like be okay with it. And it was it was dope. Like it was really dope, man. Um, and then Shade, and then Shade was like, you know, she want to follow it for at least ninety. For the first uh, day or whatever, and I'm like, I'm okay. So she wasn't going to drink, so I wasn't going to drink. She wasn't going to smoke. I don't smoke, but I wasn't going to do hookah, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And what I say is, if you have somebody that's that's fully into it, if y'all both into it, great. But if you're not into it as much and you can be open, I feel like it made the experience to me so much more special because like I'm not into that, mm-hmm. and it's like I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing it with her, and I'm like even like just the whole process throughout the day is like I ain't going to drink. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think I have a problem like like with drinking because I know. I know I cannot drink for a day, and I did it, but it was really to be like, you know what? I got my girl back. She's not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? She feel like this is something that she want to do. I'm going to do it. If she want to go 
30 days with it? Fuck it. Let's go 30 days. You know what I'm saying? We was watching a show or whatever. And like the type of person I am, I'm rapping though. The type of person I am, like, uh, oh, babe, it's good. I'm, um, we was watching the show and like, I feel like I, I don't, I just don't be believing in a lot of that stuff. And she like, nah, you know what I'm saying? They said we can't watch, um, violent stuff or whatever the case may be. And she like, nah, but they say try our best so we can do it. So I cut it off. <laughs> Cause like me, like. That, that's an excuse. Like make me try my best. I can do whatever under the sun. That's just how I am. Like niggas know I, I just got that mindset. So she's like, they said try our best. I'm like, well, if we play it, that ain't trying my best. You know what I'm saying? So I just cut it off. Like I'm like, fuck it. But nah, hey, um, coming here is niggas slit niggas' throats. <laughs> heads. I was like, oh god. Yeah. Like, so like, I thought I it just was, came back from my spiritual class. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, it was. I think it was. It was. It was definitely a dope experience. Like you know what I'm saying. Besides the bullshit, like I think it was cool. Like I, I'm just saying. I think like I think it was cool. Would I do it? I mean, if she want to do it, I'll do it often by myself. Probably not. But I think if you're into that type of stuff, you would love it. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes it better. Because I don't want to, like, try to shit yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, don't. Don't do that. Right. So, you know, it was a great experience. I'm really happy that Jay went because, you know, like, something I was trying to explain to Jay. So, well, first, for starters, he was like, we could do this at our house. I know. That's why I was doing sage classes. But if you ever, you know... Everybody knows I did my meditation gala and I did a sage cleanse course or whatever. They are like step, 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 step up of what I would like to do. And that's like me telling somebody not to pay to come doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to pay it because that's what I ideally, you know, once I get to my purest and highest form, want to be able to do for people ultimate meditation, relaxation, and just getting them to that higher being and trusting themselves trusting their environment trusting the moment and being in the present and that is an experience in itself mm -hmm. so you know people pay 25 dollars to come to my class you know what i'm saying if i could get step 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 yeah pay me 150. <laughs> <laughs> no it was, it was, Jay was like don't tell me how much it is yeah I yeah <laughs> I, I didn't like, want to know no wait wait so that. wait it was what you just said 150 so it was 150 a piece you may just do that so we start the podcast on so what i said what i said i said yo I had two hundred dollars in my name, right? I'm like, so we had these conversations, right? I'm gonna just be transparent as possible. So we had these conversations on podcast how we not supposed to sacrifice personal things to sh prove each other's love because we know each other, we know we we love each other. However, that shit harder, like it's easier said than done, right? So like, I'm what I'm what I'm ready to like sacrifice my little two hundred dollars. I gotta pay my phone bill. My shit probably get cut off. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But like, I was gonna do that to take my girl out. And this motherfucker talking about she paid 150 a person for a fucking lay down. It was I mean, spiritual cleanse. I'm sorry, babe. I ain't gonna disrespect you like that. Spiritual you look good too. Damn, girl. Sheesh. You look it's fine. Bad thing. Pour some more fine as fuck. Uh, so first and foremost, yes, first I thought foremost. I thought it was very essential. Yes. So I did sacrifice, you know what I'm saying, my three hundred piece to oh go ahead and God. do a spiritual cleanse because Jay does need it. We both need it. You know what I mean? We need to be regrouped and on our chakras to be aligned and it is very essential a part of life. And guess what? Since then he's not gonna wanna admit it, but I guarantee you he's gonna be more energetic, more uplifted, more in tune. Say you wasn't yesterday like I'm ready for the day. Go ahead and say it. Babe, I'm always ready for the day. With an attitude. Not really. Sometimes you with know, an my, attitude. My Mondays are lit. I love Mondays. Well, you know what? You loved your Saturday. Your Saturdays don't always be lit, I feel like. Sometimes. So, long story short, you know, Jay really My God doing this. All of that. All of that. I'm yeah, sorry. But it's all about God. That's how you be more like God, more at peace. If you I, were if you were marrying God, you would not need to go because you wouldn't be, you know, stressed or in worrisome behavior sometimes. You would know how to be in the present moment and be calm. That's what these classes don't are. Get that from yeah, me well, okay. The whole benefit was to keep keep you grounded. As long as you found some groundedness, guess what? It is for but God. But God it gave me merit. groundedness when he... I yeah, told but that's you what? God brought us there. All right, facts. You got Period. it. You got it. Cool. So, you know, long story short, our spiritual cleanse was great. I thought it was really dope. Yes, you know, I normally sage negative energy, you know, with sage and crystals. They was doing fire and it, you know, it was crazy, but I loved it. Like, you know, for me, it was like I was in like spiritual heaven. Like, you know what I mean? Get my little fix. She like, you know, so, you, ever seen a, you ever seen a meme when it be like, uh, when you... uh. When you say he's in the room and you asking all the bad demons to leave this and you the he's bad the demon. demon. Uh He's the demon. Hell no. Let me every tell you time, why. Every time, nah, 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 every time I say he running around, I was like, it smells in here. It I smells mean, in let me, here. Let me tell you something. He don't never want to embrace the scent. Let me tell you something. Do you know that little bag she got? They gave me one of that too. You know what else they gave me? A they bracelet. Gave me, they gave me a bracelet. You because they he's said? so demonic that you know he, they, they had to double up his nah, energy. Nah, nah. You know what they said? They said, yo, 
I can feel demons around. Me. <laughs> they said, look, look, look. They said, I'm a, they said, they said, no. they said, they said, they said, no. take this, look, they said, take this bracelet. No. And and, and watch the demons start leaving. Them. Don't be, don't then be shy. Then why the hell are you still sitting here then? Period, poo. Because it's it's, 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 it's eliminating it's, it's, the demons no, from your body. No, what it's doing is eliminating the demons from coming out of you. So there you have it. So shout out to our spiritual cleanse. I thought it was a dope experience. If you are into that, please feel free to reach out to me. I got some recommendations for you. You want to get a percentage for that? No, but so don't I reach just, out there. No, fifty dollar consultant fee. Fuck you, you say. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, just ask me. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that was great. So yeah, all in all, um, I we did not drink yesterday, and I had a great time, and I was full of energy, and I was fine. I have not smoked any hookah or weed. <laughs> It really hurts because you know normally I have the hookah sitting right here and I'm like pulling it, but the like shit out you know, hookah. but you know no catch twenty two today, but you know I'm, I'm I'm still feeling good. This is my first sip of alcohol, and it's champagne, so I'm gonna stay away from hard alcohol. They told me to do my best. This is my best. I gave them a whole day yesterday, so all right, um, you know, and I'm gonna no red meat, and you know I'm gonna try to stay away from as much violent movies for the first week at least because that's but what you says. are the violent movie. And then I'm also going to continuously show, show my gratitude for God and my position and where we are because I love right, you so much. Right. Okay. Can we, so, what you talking about? Come on. That's, 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 that was a, that's, let's get to it. You, you, I, I went first last time, so um, I feel like. All right, so bet. So topic today, where we at? So, you know, my topic today, you know, is really straight to the point because, you know, I feel like I got some things to say. So my topic Hold today on. is about friendly spouses. Who got him? Mm. <laughs> Who got him? Who got a friendly spouse? You got one? You got one? You got one? Anybody got a friendly spouse? Mm. How you feel about if it's me, your lady in general? How do you feel about, about your lady being friendly, too friendly? What is too friendly? Right. Give me our definition of too friendly. Um, it's always in a nigga face. Okay. Um, it's always in a nigga face. <laughs> That's two. Come on. It's always in a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just saying like I'm the only nigga. And it might be some You the only nigga. It might be some uh nah, say it with your chest, bro. Say, yeah, say please, it with your but, chest, my um, brother. The, go ahead. It might it might be some it might be some uh some what is the word? Some uh shit. What is it called? What? When when people people are uh insecurity into that. All right. Okay. It might be some and I'm I'm mad enough to say that. But I'm the only nigga. Period. Right. Insecurities or not, it's fine. I will accept that until you right. when you know better, you do better. I don't know right. better. So right now, I'm the only nigga. Okay. Um. So that's it. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you're female, regardless of me or just in general, a female that you deal with, as long as they're not in a nigga's face, then you. Go as through. long as you're not in a nigga's face. <laughs> okay. As long as I'm not in a nigga's face. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you think that applies? To you and men as well. Uh, I mean, is honestly is is whatever your preference is. The do you think you be in female spaces? I, yeah, I do. So you don't want nobody. You you. So wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, you can rewind it, flip it, and reverse it for all I get. So you don't want your female in niggas' face. Yeah. Second time, no niggas' faces. Mm-hmm. Third, Third point, time, no niggas' faces. Uh-huh. Right. Yep. But you be in female spaces, bitches' faces. Yeah, more, more probably, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, more than, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So how come it's that like you know females can't? I'm the only, I'm the only one. I'm the only woman. Don't think, no breathe, no sleep. Don't talk to another. One. Like why can't it be the same ordeal? Who's that again? But you don't do it. That's listen. What I'm telling you right now. Yeah, please break it down because like, you wouldn't be my girlfriend if that was the case. Okay. So you, you chose this role. Oh, so that's so. So when it comes okay. to that, you know what this remind okay. me of? Okay. This remind me of the conversation of like, a lot of times men cheat and women take them back. And I'm not saying that is 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 anything wrong with that, but you can't do that and have an expectation for somebody else because you can't put your, you can't put your expectations on somebody else. And what I mean by that is a lot of times you'll see a guy cheating a girl take him back, and then you'll see, I mean, hopefully not, a girl would cheat and a girl would expect the guy to take her back when it just don't work like that because. I can't speak for all men, but I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't what, so I, I'm, what I'm okay with. Because here we you can be confused. Don't you, but I'm so clearing is, it for is, you. Is it not like a thing where it's like, don't you want to be treated? Like, don't isn't there a saying, treat people how you want to be treated? Is there not a saying, treat people how you want to be treated? Uh, yeah, but my mom's, so, my mom, I'm old school. So my mom's always said, 
treat people, treat people, treat people things how they want their things treated because you might treat mm-hmm. your shit less than how they want their shit treated. Okay. So with that being said, mm-hmm. if you're friendly, is that not treating somebody like <laughs> me mm-hmm. less than I would be? Less than I would want to be treated. I mean, so oh, no, 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 no I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm okay. with you, baby. I'm, not, I'm, on, I'm on your side. Uh, what I will say is, again, we talked about acceptance and being a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. That's who I am. Again, mm-hmm. I said if that was you, I wouldn't knock you, but I wouldn't be with you because that's not what I want in a partner. So, but is so let's just agree that this is a double standard, though, right? Very much. So. I don't think so. Only reason, only reason I don't think is a double okay. standard is because I think it's a preference, and once you put preference on okay. it, okay. Preference. So mm-hmm. preference is you don't want to be with somebody friendly, but you're friendly and you hope somebody accepts you for that. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't, but so, I don't think. Yeah. 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 I'm okay. friendly. I'm definitely so, not right. sure. So when does preference double standards or anything of me just being me get detrimental? Are you willing to let that be detrimental to your relationship? Hell no. Cause there's been times where you was friendly and I chilled out. Matter of fact, it was a time where you was friendly in the club and I tried to tell you about it and you, you try to argue you me wrong. Any time or times? It was a time. A it time. was. And, but the, th- the thing is, even when I came to you, I didn't. I was come... friendly in the club. Yeah, what? What I do in a club? Oh my god. What I do in a club? So look, it was like um, what happened was like uh, we was in a we was in a day party. Mm-mm-mm. So she we was in a day party and she was talking to this guy, and. They was just talking about like where they was from and shit like that. We was both from Connecticut. CT, you already know. I don't give know. a fuck. You don't even know this nigga. But anyway, so all right, all right, whatever. So me hosting, I understand that that's going to happen. You, are you like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like it. So again, I say that's what a friendly woman is and I don't want it. But at the same time, I'm I'm not just no asshole, no dickhead. Like I'm, I'm human. So I understand that things happen. I'm not about to just go. First of all, I think I'm too cool to be going over there like, what you talking like, you know what I'm saying? I let you do your thing. It was talking for like five minutes in the club. You know that's, and I'm trying to get her attention. And she like, to me, it was like, you were ignoring me, but she probably didn't hear me. And I'm, I'm gonna be fair. She probably didn't hear me, but I'm like, if you wasn't in this nigga face, you would've heard me. But again, <laughs> all I did after the club was like, yo, babe, just be. I was just trying to be like, yo, be careful about that, or how, because it can look, it can look crazy. Hmm. I wasn't upset. I didn't, and to this day, I wasn't upset. Only time, only the only time I got upset was when she was telling me how she wasn't in this nigga face. How wasn't. it, but you. We were having a conversation, having a conversation, and being in somebody's face. It's the it's you gotta be face things. to face unless you're on the phone. What the okay, fuck? Okay, so I'm ABC not a, so, one, okay, two, so, three. That's not having simple. a conversation or being in somebody's face. Being in somebody's face is like, yeah, what you doing? You no, you can be in somebody's face talking no. to him in the club. If you're in a club and we're having a conversation. First, first of all, the conversation started because he asked me and my Don't friend to take a how picture a started. of them, of him and his little group, and we were standing there. It was boom. So that's how that started. But it wasn't no just random conversation, just like, oh, what you drinking? <laughs> but again, it wasn't like you're that. talking to a random nigga in the club about where y'all from. Y'all was having a conversation. I'm trying to get your attention, and I don't how get your attention to because, you to get my because I'm. Anyway, like if I, I said, don't know, if I don't know you trying to get my attention, how am I know you trying to get my attention? What I'm saying is, somebody asked me how because I'm sense? trying to get your attention. But so if you I don't know. know that, how I'm supposed to know you trying to get my attention? If you wasn't in that nigga face, you would no. know my point. So what I'm saying is, again, well, what if I was in a, we're talking to a female and you were trying to get my attention? Would it have been the same energy? No, because you were just like, oh, you was talking. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I figured you ain't hearing me. All right, but it wasn't. I figured female. you ain't hearing right, me. But it wasn't. But because female. it's a, a guy, it's like so. Oh. If I, so the conversation, Shade, you're not making no sense because this 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 wouldn't be a conversation if I was all in guys' face, no homo. But like, it wouldn't be a conversation. You talking about? You wouldn't be. You wouldn't be calling me because I'm gonna give you what the hell I'm talking about. If I was if I was with the homies all the time, you wouldn't be calling me friendly. Okay, so boom, prime example of why friendly behavior. So, so my biggest my biggest thing here is when I'm trying to figure out. I'm not saying it's wrong for you to be yourself. Some people are a little more friendly and think <clears> that you know just being you know open minded, just a perfect gentleman to every female you come across, or just like extending your you know, asserting yourself in things that, you know, just trying to be nice and, you know, to every female. So there are some people who's just like that. I know men and women like that, mm-hmm. right? So with that, you know, having a partner like that is probably not the ideal situation, but it's not a deal breaker for me because, you know, we can talk about it. Now, my thing is, how do you deal with a friendly spouse, right? Mm-hmm. And the reason why I bring this up because, like, you know, I realized that, you know, Sometimes I can tell you that. What? Per, uh, like, um, exactly. What? My ex was like friendly. Was not friendly. She worked. 
Okay. Oh, so, she was bottle girl. So matter of fact, so that's crazy. So she's a twirl, twist her hips and twirl bottle tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist her hips and he a rapper. So <laughs> you already it's know. crazy. So that actually wasn't even my issue with her. So matter of mm-hmm. fact, to answer that question, could I date a friend? I've done it. So and that wasn't my oh. problem because I understood she was working. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I under- what about when you're not working? Again. It's just respect level. Like, uh, like it's really a respect level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't, if we're talking, you're not about to just exit our conversation to go talk to the next nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it just is what it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, so boom. So I have a friend who's also my little sis. And, oh my, um, really going today? yes, go we ahead, are. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You just went into me talking to niggas in the club while we can't talk about, you know what I'm saying? Who's go that? Ahead. I did not fuck okay. her little sis. No, he did not fuck my little sis. My little sis, my little sis. Hold up, like right. there's no my I man, want, you know what I'm my list. That's that not right yeah, now. yeah. That's not what's going on. Right. Okay, Ooh. so oh, that's why you went because you thought if you I said it that people might assume nah, that I'm you did put it. That shit out there. Oh, okay, okay. So because you know, uh, so long story short, my little sis, also a friend I've known for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Jay needed an assistant, and it came to a conclusion that you know my girl could be his assistant. Right. My low sis, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, this is where it comes to how do you deal with a spouse with friendly behavior, right? So, long story short, I'm with my little sis, and she tells me that Jay was upstairs at her apartment, right? Mm, um, that sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, right? <laughs> it sounds fucking crazy because I had no idea. Jay never mentioned being up at her apartment, never. Like, mm-hmm. I never knew. <laughs> like, it, like, so when she said it, I was just like, I, you know, me, I'm a cool ass bitch, so you ain't never gonna catch me oh, sweat. God. So I was just like, oh yeah, yeah you know, says so she thought I knew. So she wasn't doing any harm. She thought I already knew, but you know, Slim here didn't tell me. So she's like, yeah, you know, Jay was up here, you know what I'm saying? Came up, said, you know, he was making noodles. Like, whole time they was working, but she was like, yeah, he was making his noodles up here. I was like, he's making noodles in your crib. <laughs> Ramen? Yeah, yeah got some chicken or beef. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, his niggas upstairs, what are we doing? Noodles? Mm-hmm. Like, okay. So she was like, yeah, you know. But I was like, oh, yeah, Jay crazy, girl. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, boom. So I go tell Jay. So I'm like, you know, I didn't know he was going upstairs. Mm-hmm. Oh, mind, the, mind you, she lives in our building. So, but she's my friend. She's my little Damn, sister. Hold on. that's so crazy. Sounds crazy. I know, don't it, right? So I go to Jay. I'm, I'm following you. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. So I go to Jay, and I'm like, Sheesh. why didn't you tell me you was going upstairs? You ain't said it like that, but okay. What'd I say? You was a little bit more upset, which is rightfully so. I'm, okay, but how did I say it? I'm saying you just like so. I probably had a, I, it, it was no bitch in my no, tone. No, it was no, definitely no. not. I was not sweet for it. I was like, "What are you doing? All right, finish, finish, are, are we crazy?" So, story, boom. So we get through that. Like you know, what I'm saying I was upset about it because I was just like, you know, if you're not telling me that, what else are you not telling me? Because I, I had no idea you weren't you were even doing that. Like you could go. I got three, four, five bitches right, in here every week. Basically, you get what I'm saying. So I was just like, all right. So I was upset about it. However, we communicated through it. We uh, uh, we like again. If you it. have a spouse that is friendly or does something that's out of your preference, you communicate through we it. Did so it we did it. Mm-mm. We I'm did. A, I'm let you finish we story. did talk about it. I'm let you, finish story. you didn't. You didn't come up with no conclusion like, "Oh, baby, I'm never going to do that." About, but I definitely communicated so out how I felt. Okay. It was no direct. It, it was let I let it know how I felt, and okay. he accepted how I felt. Right. To me, that is communication. Okay. Okay. Right. right. So maybe not a direct conclusion of how we were going to handle that, but you knew how I felt about it. Mm-hmm. You accepted how I felt about it. Right. You know, move right. forward. Fair. Right. Two weeks later, uh, we have some people over mm-hmm. and, um, you know, my friends come over, his friends come over, little sis comes down with her friend or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we're all mixing and mingling and, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little drunk and I'm a high. Thank God for my spiritual cleanse. So at that day I was a little drunk and a little high and, um, Jay's walking out the doors, so he got keys in hand, and then he turns around, he's like, babe, come with me. So I'm like, all right, cool, we go outside. He's like, I'm like, where you going? He's like, oh, I'm about to go get food. So I'm thinking, like, well, I'm not paying attention. He um he ordered food, so I'm like, oh, from where? Upstairs at Shorty House. <laughs> like, <laughs> the hell? So I stop in the hallway. I stop, hold on, let's stop right here. Where are you going? Oh, like, yeah, Shorty got food upstairs, she told me that I could go get it. So, two friendly spouses. Now, this is what I will say, right? Can I tell my story or no? I'm not done. All right, all right. So, I'm just asking. The, not done. So, this is what I will say. And you already told a story, by the way. However, but you I'm know, saying, can I, I have my story and reply to your story. I mean, I didn't really have one too much into yours. You inter- I interjected, but I didn't really have no, one. No, I'm reply. saying. But I, yeah, sure, if you want to, sure. So, long story short, I expressed to Jay right then and there, like, absolutely fucking not. You got me fucked up. Not with the shits. Like, you're wilding. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've never even been up there for nothing let alone have her damn keys to go upstairs. I've been up there for her. No, I'm talking about by myself 
getting her keys. Yeah, she's invited us both over for a brunch, but I've never been up there with her keys willy nilly in her place by myself, never ever. Right. And granted, I think I've only been up there twice. Okay. So now you just free willing he going upstairs. What the hell you want to do? So I'm letting him know not with the shits, because, again, he has a friend who also lives in the building who's a trainer. If he was training me and we're just having a get together, we're not training today. And I just get his keys and I go out the door and I'm like, babe, come over here. Where you going to go get some food from Aaron's house? You'd be like, oh, the hell you you're say, not. You ain't say your friend. So why we got Brittany's some, house. Well, we, why we got to add that name? I'm just letting it, Brittany, Aaron, because we all cool. Oh, no, niggas know what's up with me. I already pulled car. You know what I'm saying? Look, baby girl, I ain't fucking with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I love you dearly. You little sis. She watches the podcast. Love you, Britt. You already know. But niggas know I'm a straight shooter, period. So um, all that to say, all that to say is what I'm saying is, Wee. yeah, you wouldn't like that. Like, if I was going upstairs and just like. You know what I mean? Where you going? Or like if I was training with Aaron and I just was up there, you had no idea. You'd be like, what the fuck are you just doing upstairs? So, yes, big flag on the play. I didn't like it. And again, friendly spouses. Now, what I will say, do I absolutely believe anything? No, I know, Jay. I know like I, I'm not. That's not the problem. It's just overly asserting yourself, being too comfortable or being friendly. How do you do? Um, and just to give my conclusion before he goes, you know, Mm -hmm. on his spill, what I've learned to accept is one, I got a friendly ass nigga, y'all. I've said this since episode two, I believe. I think I, who remember when I was like, Jay, a friendly ass nigga on episode two. This is not new. It's something that I've said before, but something that I had to honestly say to myself, do I absolutely trust that Jay is not doing anything? Yes. I don't think Jay is doing anything. Do I think that he has a lack of boundary? Yes, I do. And is that something that I continuously have to communicate until he understands? I don't know if he understands or respects in a way that understands that I'm just not with the sheds. So all that to say is, I, you know, I accept him and I trust him. So I'm willing to, you know, have this boundary talk a couple times, you know what I mean, so that we can move forward. Uh, can I go on my first? Are you so ready? Why yeah, are you so fast? Because I'm ready. So okay, um, what I will say is I don't say a lot a lot of things on this podcast Aww. just because the sake of our respect of our uh, relationship. What I will say is somebody is not going to do anything that you don't allow them to do. Mm-hmm. One and and I mean you, you just think however you want to think. Um, so to the beginning and now I feel are totally different. We have done things in our relationship. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying to make me feel comfortable do do? with introducing. I mean, you want to get on our uh, Iman come, Shepherd and uh, what do we do? That, what the, to what tell the, you that you could go up to my friend's house. Well, nah, let nah. Me know. I said what the beginning. I said the beginning. The oh, beginning. so this ties into that? Yes, oh, kind of. Okay, because you said because you the first thing you said. You, I mean, mm-hmm. not first thing you said. I've been saying this since episode two. So that she was I'm, a friendly ass nigga. Yeah, and yeah. what I'm saying is to to defend my character is things that I've done in our relationship because it was introduced and our communication just wasn't a hundred percent. And I just like you got your perception of it, and I can respect your perception. I have my own perception of it, and I will hope you respect my perception. Mm-hmm. So we've done things in our relationship that made me think that I can. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes go scout or recruit, right? Um, I s- well said it if you was going to say scout. I mean, I already said, I already said Iman like, Shepard, I already said Iman Shepard and uh, Tiana Taylor, so they should yeah. probably, anyway. Sorry, mom. <laughs> it's like, no, yeah, my mom's admit. watching too. But anyways, Sorry, Mr. so, so any, <laughs> what I'm saying is, so that led me to believe that I can do certain things and I understood that that's not what she wanted and that's not how she wanted mm-hmm. it done. So I stopped that, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, so again, those issues, she thought I was friendly because of a, miscommunication that I thought was okay when it wasn't, but that's just what I got from what we did. One. So that's the defend back in the day. So now we're talking about Brittany. So Sade, hey, Brit. Sade introduced her being my personal assistant. No, that's not what I introduced her to. All right, miscommunication. I Jay, never so, said personal right. assistant. So never. Sade, Fair. So Sade introduced Brittany to be my assistant. To me, an assistant, personal assistant is the same exact thing. So I wanted my assistant, personal assistant, to be more closer or more close to me because I just know if I build a relationship, we can be closer and then she won't drift away as much because with friendships, you the, you close, the tighter the friendship, the more they will really want to do for you and not even just in no I sexual. Ain't about the dumbest shit you ever heard? Sorry. <laughs> go on. Not, <laughs> no, not in no sexual. But listen, I'm just. the dumbest listen, shit. Listen, all right, so. I ain't never got, you know what? 
Again. Go so, ahead. but but again, again, you can say that because we on different realms. You're not in. You're not. You don't do what I do. So I say that in all respect. I don't have to do what you do to understand this metric. All right. Go ahead. I'll go ahead. Uh, again. So you, I wouldn't. If you did, you wouldn't say this is the dumbest shit. So anyway. Okay. I'm when you it. when you were working right and you don't have any money. I mean, that's just keep it hundred. I don't have any money. I have to make my bonds tight as I can. You get what I'm saying? So that goes with males and females. And it's, to me, I'm not trying to have no sex with her. I'm just trying to show her that, look, I'm cool. I respect you. And I'm willing to do whatever I got to do for you just so you can understand that I'm here for you and you can be with me until I do get money. So it ain't like I'm trying to like do anything. I'm just trying to close my friendships. I'm trying to make them tight as possible because I need people to help me. And a lot of times when you ain't paying somebody, they can drift off whenever the fuck they want however the fuck they want when they want you know what i'm saying so like i ain't trying to i ain't on no shit i just like yo i just want to make these these bonds tight as i can the story is crazy as it sounds you know what i'm saying it is what it is but again it was really like i was thinking about my girl and it does sound crazy however i'm like you know what i don't want her to come to my crib because that's going to be weird i'm like maybe i'll just go there I cook my own noodles because I'm like, I didn't want to be like, yo, can you make me some noodles? But I'm just like, I'm trying to do, like, I'm really like, yo. logic is I, but Again, listen, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm really doing it the best way. So I'm like, yo, don't bring her to your crib. Your girl not here. That's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't want a Maya come in. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just disrespectful. So I'm like, all right, you know what? <laughs> you laughing. I'm, I'm just saying. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. I want to be respectful. So I went up there. I'm like, you know what? I didn't ask her to make noodles. I'm like, let me make my own. I text. I'm like, yo, can I make my own noodles? You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want her to make me no noodles. I was really trying to be respectful. And during that time, what Sade don't mention is, me and Sade was bumping heads crazy. So like, like she was like, I was in my chat because we got like a, a girlfriend chat for the homies, right? I'm in my chat. So I'm like, yo, Sade get on my fucking nerves. It ain't even about nothing else. Like, it's about just her, what she's doing. So me, I'm not thinking to tell her that I went... To Brit not, I'm not intentionally doing this. It's just I'm already upset about something else, and I'm trying like we're trying to communicate. Me and Shadi are trying to communicate to get through something else. So I'm I'm not trying to. What it's not you say? right. I'm not like I'm not intentionally not telling you, but we're trying to communicate to get through something else. So I'm not about to break out communication. We we argue about something. Hey, so I went to Brittany. I just like you know. I like, would have. You know I would have. Yo, just like you know, so, I'm upstairs listen, at Aaron's house. We about to listen, do a workout. Listen, I'm not, I'm not, this, I'm not saying. Just saying. I, listen, babe, I'm not, I'm not taking that away from you. I, I, won't, I, will, I won't take that away from you. However, you know what I'm saying? I came home to finish editing the footage, right? So I'm already thinking like, yo, Sade ain't about to break her, her job. She not about to stop her work and come home to edit no video. You know what I'm saying? So these are things, I'm just saying for, for understanding. I ain't saying, I ain't pointing no fingers at anything. I stopped my work day to come home and edit. So I'm like, yo, I'm, I got this assistant. We never had a conversation. So while I'm home editing, let me have this conversation. Let me kill two birds with one stone. Let me edit, and we can have this conversation about what I need you to do, my expectations for as assistant. That was it. Again, I can't understand how it definitely looked wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So going to the second story, right? Sade expresses how she didn't like it. The second story, I try my best again, right? So we're in here. We were talking about where the food was. So when Who's I, we? Because not so me. Not, not, not fair. Fair, fair. But we were in one room. It's a little ass apartment, to be honest. First of all, so, my apartment ain't right, that small. And if you're right. in two different conversations, I don't know what the fuck okay, is going on fair. over there. So Just we're, we're in the kitchen, and it's not that big of a space. So we were talking, me, Brittany, and her friend were talking about the food in her apartment. So I assume she heard. So I'm like, yo, where is that? She's like, in the crib. I'm like, shit, I'm about to go get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I want the food. I'm not about to say, go get the food. I'm hungry. I'm like, yo, you don't have to go get it. I'll go get it. So to, before I go get the food on my own, the first thing I did was like, bae, come with me. Because I don't want you to think I'm on some shit. The first thing I think, however, I can, again, because you did not hear the conversation, I can see where you see that. But let's not paint this picture of, I'm just this friendly any, ass nigga. Now the story sounds crazy. And, but the story is what it is because at the end of the day, but there's now a that couple key factors that we still fair, leaving out. But now that you okay. have both sides, I feel like somebody can That's fine. somebody they, can look they, at it and be like, look, you know what? I can understand. To you be was honest, wrong, but I can understand. I, 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 I look, I understand it to a certain degree, right? Because at the end of the day, first of all, I'm still not I'm not asking your friend for no keys right, to so their let's place get to that. ever. Let's get, I'm never asking them to go upstairs to go there fail. And even if you didn't have money, you know you could have came like, baby, we got a little, you got we got, you know what I'm saying, to order some I'm food. Not about to ask no, that it's but food you asked dollars. another bitch to no, go get food out of her house. Right, that makes no sense. Right, cool, fair, fair. That makes what zero I'm saying, sense. Yeah, what I'm saying. 
I'm so so. You me, won't ask me, but you'll ask her. No, because we were like talking about some, food. She like said, I want I, some food." No, else. she just said, "I came Brandon, from I came from the restaurant. I got some oh, I got some Mind leftovers." You, I'm like, "Let me get that." To the tea. They come downstairs. He brings the food. They it sits right in front of them. They're all eating it. They didn't offer me or none of my friends anything. Right? Not to say it was intentional because it was their food. The food wasn't for the house. So so my thing is, you just got me like some flunky going up to some bitch house going to get her food. Hold again, on, baby. That, that's, you could have got it by your damn bri- self. So again, at that that point. again, it's bricks. Is again is. It's breaks in the story to me because at that Period. point, Sade was upset. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say she made a deal, but she was upset about it. So when, when I came down, I did not eat the food. The first thing I did was go in the room. So again, to me, it's variables in the story. So but if, if it hold was up. for everybody and they were letting you go up there to get it for everybody, whether you went in a room or not, it would have been offered to the whole Marcus house. Marcus wasn't. Marcus stuck his fingers in there because that's what he does. But I'm so just he saying, went over so, there and got it himself. All right. I'm not going to go dip my hands or ask for nobody of nothing food. All right, fair. Because who, like, I'm not, fair, no, fair, I'm not, fair, no, come fair. on. Let's get back to the point. My, so, like, fair, what fair. are we talking about? Hey, fair. So what I'm saying is, again, understand how it can look. I just, I just forgot. But anyway, whatever the case may be. I can't understand how it looks, but I just feel like in a relationship, when you have these conversations, oh yeah, I was talking about this. So Tim, right? So me and Tim went to go play football. I told her to go upstairs to get the pot. Honestly, His if I gave know, me the pot, can I say my story? So my point of me saying that is, if me and if me and Alex went to go play football and Tim was upstairs, I would have said the same thing like, babe, you can go to Tim because that's my brother. It's no, I don't, it's no, I don't, Look at, I know for a fact Tim ain't going to do that. And again, Aaron, right? If Aaron was training my girl and she was home and she explained the story, I would have understood. I, but there was no explaining. I'm just That's saying, my point. There was never any explaining. It was, I didn't, wasn't in the conversation where you were getting the keys. If I was in the conversation when you were getting the keys, we'd have a different but I story. You, I wasn't in the conversation when you were going upstairs to go to to go work with her. I wasn't in any upstairs? of those conversations. Right, so, so, so when you're like, if, if 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 it's understood and we know what's going on, then there was no so understanding. So again, so again, the first all, time, the all first, these are things that you were just doing without consulting so, no, me. And no, 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 no. The first, the you first got time, the keys before no, you asked me the to first come time, upstairs. the first time, Shadi, the first time, I, I'm gonna give you that 100. percent You're right. You're absolutely right. The second time, Bay, I called you in a hallway. But and you started, already had the keys. But, uh, but listen, what I'm saying is, instead of you like, yo, like you didn't, it wasn't like a, a cool, you really. Yeah, because you're wilding now. You're wilding now. Respect, okay. You're wilding now. I'm sorry. And all that to say is. So how do we, how do we, how do we resolve this? That's what, that's where I was about to go. Because now you know say I'm having flashbacks and it's just triggering. I just want to first say, and for, first and foremost say, I'm a solid ass bitch. So from that situation, I went directly to my friend because I didn't want her to feel like, you know, this is also my friend. I didn't want her to think that I was feeling no way and she didn't know what was going on. So I told her straight up. I was like, look, you told you was talking to me. You had no idea that I didn't know that Jay was up there. Also, he had the keys. Whatever. I told my girl straight up because that's just the type of girl I am. I'm not we ain't got there ain't no cut cards here. Right. Mm-hmm. I was not mad at her and I was not directly. I was more mad at Jay, how Jay was handling things, because I think that Jay is an authority type of guy. He th- like he does like you said this the other day. You said like I have to be in a position to make the calls, call the shots. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to be. And I think that he assumes because Brittany is his assistant that he may very well do that with Brittany, right? But here was the cross the boundary that we go to, right? The minute that my friend, and this is what I said from the beginning, right? I never knew that Brittany was going to be her, his personal assistant, right? It was we were when we were talking about the assistant situation. It was more that. Brittany was going to assist with getting Jay bookings, right? And she was also going to work on some things for the Gemini Scorpio podcast. It was never, no disclosure, like, oh, she's going to be my personal sister. She's going to run my errands. She's so going to be, like, we if, get- we're, if we're downstairs having something to do outside of work, we're just at a party. Um, she's going to go get me food. Like, that was not it. And, and granted, honestly, there was no clear communication with that either. Excuse we, me. Get, Don't cut me it? off because I didn't cut what you off. You I'm about to say it, right? All right. So all this, all inclusion to that right I told Jay I had a conversation with him, and I said had I known that's what you wanted because I said I didn't know what you wanted out of a personal assistant right so the first key was there has to be a big large understanding in general right I didn't know what you wanted when I asked him what did you want out of a person say he was like I need a best friend that can be there and you know what I'm saying that that is I could be, be a bond with so that I could carry them forever and they can come with me understandable but I un- understand as well I wouldn't have recommended that to be my friend okay. because God forbid we split my friend got to go too, like, I'm, or, or that messes up our friendship because I can't be telling her to you. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, and she now your person that doesn't work. So had I understood that from the beginning, I would have never recommended her. Fair. All that to say is how I feel like it should be addressed and resolved. Clear communication, especially when 
friends are at stake in resolve because there was a couple of points that I brought to him that I think is very important just for any guy, any female in general, right? Mm -hmm. Like he was offended because I said, thank God it's Brittany. It doesn't matter that it's not it's him and Brittany. It's because Brittany is also my friend and I, Brittany's had loyalty to me for 10 years, right? But now, God forbid, this was another girl. You upstairs at her house. You're Jay Hill, 93.9, hot lit. And she like, you know, come on to you. You're like, nah, I'm good. Well, if you don't, I'm gonna go tell your girl this. Now we in a situation. Or or you could say that all you want to, but girls do run like that. Thank you, Monique. Girls don't run like that. Or next don't. thing, he's trying to rape me. We don't know. Like now we're in a situation because there was no communication. I never knew you were up there and I don't know what's going on. There has to be clear communication across the board, especially in instances where there's assistance needed or even just friendships as, as guys are because every guy don't need an assistant. Like, you know what I'm saying? You are in a career. So as people are watching this, I don't want people to think like, you know what well, my guy like even in just bringing friends aboard. We don't know who's who all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even when we do, we still don't know. Right. We have to really tread lightly on just people in, in general because we don't want no situations. And I felt like at that point, he wasn't protecting our situation because he was not communicating with me. 100%. However, again, understanding your partner, I also understand that DJ is not a person who's careless as well, but he does not like to communicate every one of his moves. However, I'm willing to take that. But going forward... Resolution wise, you have to communicate because of the different variables that are out there. Period. Poo. <laughs> okay. Uh, you done with that? Oh, now you ready, boo? Value. No, I'm asking. Conclu no, I'm What's asking. your conclusion? I mean, my conclusion. I feel like it has to be a big. Um, again, I just feel like, I, you know, like I ain't trying to. Um, I ain't trying to uh, point no fingers, but I just feel like it has to be accountability on both sides. Um, you know, like. I just feel like, I don't know how to, like, it's like, cause I want to have the open conversation, but I feel like when I go into it, you're going to try to defend your side. But I feel like, I feel like I was very transparent in the, in the fact that, you know what, it was wrong and it did sound crazy. However, this is my reason why. So you can understand not I to make understand. it right or wrong, but everything you were saying, like you got to have communication so I can know what like, out of this, but you ain't really say anything about, you know what, maybe I shouldn't have introduced the fact to have my friend to be your assistant. Maybe like, maybe I had something that. Maybe I could have uh, played a different role in it to not to not introduce the situation so it wouldn't go that way. And I just feel like it has to be. Um, it does, it, which is why I said, yeah. had I known what you wanted, I wouldn't have right. off the rip. Okay. If I knew what you wanted, okay. clear communication. If you told me exactly what you wanted, I would not have recommended my friend. You got it. In man. the in, in in any point, but you're smiling, you're laughing on camera, like what's tea? Like Babe, don't I'm, smile, I'm, but like don't act like I'm not holding accountability, Jay. Because at the end of the day, had I known what you wanted, I wouldn't have. I I have a question. Yeah. Is she still your assistant? Yes, she is. Because it ain't no insecurity about it. It's respect. You feel what I'm saying? It's principle. That's all it's about. Of course, I trust them both. But what we're not going to do is teeter around me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, one's not my man and one's not my friend. Like, just make it clear. That's all I ask. If that's what, and I asked Jay, I said, still, what do you want? What do you need? Because if that's what it's going to be, no. But if it's, you know, regular assistant work, like, we had, a, he had a system before Becca. Love Becca to death. Becca did her work. There was no additional coming over and um, going up to her apartment or having keys access. It was none of that. It was strictly work, and she got paid. Okay. Let's keep it at work. Mm -hmm. No, go on. All right, uh, so we're going to move on to... Uh, are you done with that? Are you done with it? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be you respectful. look bothered. I'm not bothered. I, I said what I said, and it, it really ain't resonate the way I would like it to resonate, so it's fine. Okay. So uh, it goes into uh, my topic. What I want to talk about is like men being voiceless in relationship. And I think it's a perfect segue. I feel like women are so strong or not even. <sighs> Jeez, it, it's so many ways to look at this. Like, so I feel like men feel voiceless. Well, I can't even speak for everybody. I'm going to say myself. I feel like a lot of times I feel voiceless in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in our relationship because as a man, it's kind of like you're looked down upon for going back and forth with your woman. Like, it's like, you're not supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? You, you, they always say, happy wife, happy life. You let your woman, you know what I'm saying? That's a woman trait. They, they argue back and forth. You let her have it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, you really want to be understood. And a lot of times, you want you, you want to be a clear communication so it can be this understanding between the both of us. But at the same time, it's like, you feel how you feel, and it's not. it's no change in it. Like, it's like... There's no change in that. So no so matter what I say, like, I, for example, I was like, um, I was like, I think uh, it should be accountability on both sides. And it went back to 
I would have known that if you would have told me what this was. Like, and it's like, at that point, it's like, you know what? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, no matter what I say, you're going to feel how you want to feel. And I just feel like a lot, I don't know if a lot of men deal with this, but I feel like one of my friends, like, he deal with it. We ain't going to say no names or whatever, but I just feel like sometimes men can be voiceless in a relationship because they just don't want to, they don't want the drama, the back and forth. They don't want the arguments. They don't want the, they want things to be more peaceful. And I feel like women want to be heard and like, they just, they rather their story be heard that they, sometimes they really sweep under the rug how a guy feels or what a man is going through. That's just how I feel about it. I'm sorry you feel that way. One, truthfully. Um, so I have a couple, of, well, not a couple, but I probably have like two outlooks on it, right? Um, I think that, um, I think it just depends what type of woman you have, which is one, because I feel like, you know, some women are, whether you sweep their feelings under the rug, whether you're not trying to hear them, they're going to get their point across, right? So it just depends on the type of your women. Then there's some women who just don't care to talk about it. It's like cool, like you know what I'm saying. So I just depend. I think it depends on what type of woman you have. I think both and, of those women are sweeping a man's feelings out under the rug, though. Because if okay. you let's say if, no matter what you say, you're going to your opinion is going to be heard. So if I feel a way, no matter how I feel, you're going to let it be known what you think is right. So that's one. Yeah. Two, the person that 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 don't want to talk about it, right? If I want to express my feelings and you don't want to express your feelings, that's like, fuck how you feel as well. Okay. So what I was going to say and lead into that, right? So it depends what type of woman you have. But I think there's another side of this too. No woman ever says to a man, you can't say how you feel. I think when men say that they're voiceless or they can't get their point across or whatever, a lot of times they're stopping their own feelings because they don't want the drama and things like that. And I think that don't have nothing to do with the woman. That has everything to do with your parenting style, how you were raised growing up to suppress your emotions mm -hmm. i don't always think that has to do with the woman i think sometimes like you know you come in you want to say mm. how you feel and you think because you have an alpha female or a female who's gonna keep saying what they say or want to keep going the debate going that means you can't say what you said or that means your sweet your feelings are getting swept up in the rug i don't think that that it means either i think there's times that women's gets feelings get sweeped under the rug 100%. but we keep going Hell yeah. you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day i'm entitled to feel how i feel so whether you you can still be like i'm gonna say how i feel whether you i'm entitled to say how i feel and everybody you know what everybody feel how they feel so one thing, it could be it could fair. very well be that it doesn't mean that you don't have a voice it just means that you don't want to use your voice because you don't want to go into a back and forth but that is a I don't want to go back and forth. Thing. So that's not you don't have a voice. Fair. So I think as men, right, <clears throat> the masculine trait is to solve problems. So if if I'm having a conversation, I'm trying to settle this. I'm trying to get to a conclusion. I'm trying to fix the problem. If we're just going to go back and forth, is no solution to the problem. So a lot of times, what happens is I'm telling you how I feel. You won't really care to understand it it's like no that's not it because da 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 and it's like okay because at that point if i say no we're just going to go back and forth we're not going to fix it so to eliminate that it's like you know what okay i feel you respect leave it at that but i just feel like it can take a more conscious decision of woman to just be like be more patient and be less angry and just be like you know what yo this don't look like that but i see what you're saying and even though that don't look like that and it don't make sense I respect you and because I respect you, right? And I respect you as a man. I love you as a, as a boyfriend. Even though it don't look like that, I'm going to take your word for it. And I'm going to be like, all right, I can see how it is that. But however, how do we move forward? Let's not do this in the, in the future, right? A lot of times it's just be like, nah, because why the fuck would you even think that? Like, this is the dump. Like, it's just, it's just be like, all right, okay, respect. Like, it, it really ain't nothing to say. So I think that a lot of times that people don't let people feel how they feel and get off all of what they need to say. Mm -hmm. If somebody can let off all their feelings about something and get it all out, then it can be a conclusion to what's the next step. I think a lot of times when you're saying, you know, women always are come at it angry or whatever, a lot of times things happen to them that is hurtful. To say that they should just stop right there and be like, all right, I understand you and not address their hurt. Now you're suppressing their feelings. I'm not saying that. No, stop right there. Excuse me. I'm not coming. I'm just saying off. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you are. Hold on. You said to say that. Okay. I'm saying to say that, whatever. What I'm trying to say is either way, right? I think it's okay for everybody to express every way they feel. 
and yeah. then find the solution. Hell it yeah. doesn't have to always be as soon as you say something. All right. You need to say, OK, baby, I understand what you're feeling. Yes, it sounds ideal. But since we're all learning how to communicate because nobody communicates perfectly, you cannot expect that out of anyone to just be like, you know what? As soon as you say that, even though I feel like you did something harmful or hurtful to me, you, just because you're saying it, that I got to process it in that second to be like, OK, I under, it doesn't it, like we're all learning. So until we're at that perfect space, because you're not, at, you know, men aren't at that perfect space either. Not at all. Like, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I think there has to be grace on both sides so that both sides can be like, let's get out how we feel. If we got to walk away, let's walk away and let's revisit the conversation. But it doesn't mean that. You can't say how you feel. They can't say how we, they feel. Whether, you know, it, it, it seems harsh at the time. And if y'all can't handle the conversation, walk off. Like, until you guys can say in a way, like, I don't like what you do with that. I don't fuck with that. Like, sometimes, like, guys get offended. Like, you be like, I don't fuck with that. It's like, that's so harsh. No, I don't fuck with that. It doesn't mean it's harsh. I'm letting you know what I don't like. Now, I'm not saying that we got to be like, no, fuck you. Because no, those conversations, sit those out for a second. But if I come in, I'm like, no, I fuck with that. I don't like that you do that. I don't trust that you do that. Listen, I trust myself and my feelings too. Right. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean I'm being disrespectful to you because I'm saying I trust myself. Right. I'm just saying that I trust me too. Mm -hmm. So you trying to get me to trust what you're saying, but I understand that sometimes that is me having to put my fear of side of not trusting myself to trust somebody else. Give me a second. Give me a process. So the way we, so the way we um, fix this is, you think men should just allow women to speak their feelings more often and just accept it? I think both sides should allow each other to speak their feelings more often. You may feel your, speak your piece too. The same way you can say, but if I feel like the opposite, it doesn't mean you don't have a voice. I just can feel the opposite. That's it. Like it doesn't mean you're voiceless. I just can feel the opposite. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I think um, men just grow up differently. Like, I, I, um, you know, my mentors always tell me, you don't have to always say how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, and sometimes in arguments, even a lot of times, a lot of times I'll feel something, but because I understand, like my understanding will override my feelings. So because like you'll tell me a story and it'll be like, you know what? I feel like she shouldn't be talking to this nigga, but her story makes sense. So I'm going to put my feelings to the side and I'm going to accept her truth. A lot of times... Women just want to keep saying but how that's your guess. How do you know how many times women actually have put their feelings to the side and haven't said nothing? I'm not, I, I'm that's not, a guess that, that's to think my, that. Look, that's, that's not a, my argument. though. I, I know, but you're saying I think people should put that. You don't have to say, always say how you feel. I think there's a lot of times that women don't say how they feel and they take a lot so, before they say example. something. So I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to exploit this, but that, again, I feel, I feel like I feel like want. this is a perfect example because I feel like what I said made sense. Okay. And instead of saying, you know what? But you, again, Jay, I can have my own opinion. I'm not saying you can't. Again, that's why I said I'm not trying to exploit this. Okay. But I'm this is my this is my opinion. I feel like just like that, it made sense. You know what? I think it can be that. You know what I'm saying? That can happen, mm -hmm. and that's how. Like I'm saying, it just it just back. It's like okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not yeah, mad. I'm not upset. Forms of opinion. Fair. So it's it, fair. so at that point, it's no conclusion really. It's like you feel how you feel. We're going to agree yeah. to disagree. Or we could just try both sides and see what works best. All right, we cool. could try either one. It doesn't have to be like that. That doesn't mean I'm open you know for trying both sides. I'm open for trying both sides. Like you know, what I'm saying we can try both sides. It doesn't mean again. I feel like sometimes that's. I think again. That's why I keep saying that's a personal thing. Like right. cause, it's just always feelings. Okay, like because no matter what. Why if are I, you getting so? I'm, I'm not. I'm just. What I'm saying is no matter this conversation going for hours, but because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna say how I feel. You gonna say how you feel? No, I'm gonna say how I, I think feel. We're gonna go into the next topic. I'm just saying we're we can we can still express ourselves. Jay. Yeah. Like, we don't have to just like all right, well enough. Like even like there's a couple times you was just like okay, cut that. Like I don't have to do that either. Right. So if if I don't, like, I don't if I don't say do okay, either. how do we come to a, a end? We can again. We were getting there before you was like see that's why we were getting there where it was gonna be like all right, we both can try both sides. All right, we can do that. Cool. All right, so we gonna go to the next thing. I don't fuck with you this episode. See, why it gotta be out of fuck? Like, why no, do you? you we literally stank, just did bro. what you said. We came you to acting, a conclusion. You stank, bro. How? Anyway, why? So wait, no, hold up, no, hold up. Why no, is it that I'm acting like, stank when I'm telling you my feelings? That, no, it's I'm, not. That and you're I literally just said feelings. okay. It's not that you know you cut me off mad times, and then when I was like, you was like, no, just come on, go forward, and then when I was going forward, you were like, whatever, and I'm just I could see it all in your face. How I'm saying okay? Like I literally said okay. It's okay, babe. We That's had a sure. great spiritual cleansing. Look, I picked let's, bring let's bring I it all in. Let's bring it all in, y'all. Let's, let's bring it all in. Bring it all in, everyone. Bring it all in. Come on. So, this or that. Ooh, so, yeah, boom. So, I got a little thing or thing. So, I'm going to ask Jay a couple questions. You know, just to 
get the people to know Jay a little bit, and then we can go through. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Well, so go. this or that, mm -hmm. all right? So, you know, you keep telling the crowd you're broke. So if you had the money right now, mm -hmm. right? International vacation or new TV? Neither one. No, that's not how this game works. That's not how this game works. Pick one. <laughs> International vacation or TV? Or a new TV. Like, you know, 70-inch, 80-inch, big screen. And you said I can't football. say neither one? You got to pick one or the other. All right, vacation, I guess. Vacation. TV shows or movies? <laughs> pick one. Movies, I guess. Dinner date or a cook meal? A cook meal. Kickback? Or a bar or lounge. They both have hookah. A kickback. All right. Speak your mind or stay silent? Stay silent. Cuddle or back to back? Cuddle for sure. Making love or beating it down? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to beat that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> grow together or grow individually? Um, That's great. Um... I think um, we should grow. Sheesh. Damn. <laughs> try, try grow individually. Grow individually. Oh. Boom. Okay. So That's two questions, hard. right? If you can only smell one thing for mm -hmm. the rest of your life, like no other sense, this is the only smell, mm -hmm. what would you pick? Your pussy. <laughs> Come put your face in it. It's like, nah. All right. Boom. That's how, you, that's how you, yes, sir. That's resolution right there. That's resolution. <laughs> okay. If you could level up in one characteristic that you have, but to level up, you had to de decrease one cr characteristic that you have, mm -hmm. which would you increase and what would you decrease? Um, shit. Uh, I would, mm -hmm. I would increase my patience mm -hmm. and I would decrease my. Um, what's the right word? The I would decrease my level of wanting to be right. <clears throat> very good, very good, very good. Boom. Okay, so come on, it's your hypothetical. What's going on? All right, so um, mm -mm. so let's say I read this. Uh, Alex sent this. I didn't read it, but this is basically what happens. A guy is, <laughs> guy's married, for how long was he married? For five years. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say a guy's married for five years, right? He cheats on his woman, uh, and the third year, he gets a girl pregnant, and he has two children, and he has a side chick for two years. So in the five years, in the five years, he's with his wife, of course, but in the two years of the yeah. last five years, yeah. he's yeah. with his side chick, but she's on a low. He's not letting nobody know. And right. he has two kids by her. Right. Um, his his side chick and one of his kids gets killed. And now the other child is there by themselves. Do you, one, stay with that person and take the child in? Or do you say, nah, I can't deal with this no more? So let me get this right. <clears throat> What's the nigga name? Eddie Curry. Eddie Curry. So this is going to be straight. We together five years. Mm -hmm. You got a little ting on the side. Mm -hmm. For two years, two, though. Yeah, I got two kids. Two two, two babies. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about it. Nobody knows nothing about it. You got, big, you got kids with me. We over here got a happy life. You got a whole mistress. They die. The daughter and the mother die. Yeah. And you want your happy wife to stay with you and be happy. It's a dead baby, a dead baby mama, and an extra baby. That's a whole lot of suitcases. Whole lot of unpacking. A whole lot of unpacking. So, me? All right, so here's the thing. I don't even want people to play, because, like, love is a deep thing. Like, you love who you love. A lot of times who you love can do no wrong. And even when they do wrong, that's your wrong. That's your baby. That's your wrong. Yo, big ball of wrong. Mm -hmm. I love that big ass ball of wrong, basically. So, I I can't say. So this is what I say. Off the rip. 
I'm gonna be no good. Like I like I don't even have too many decisions to make because like I'm just probably gonna be fucked up. You know, I got stepkids I don't know about. It's a dead body here. I, I don't know. If I do choose to stay, it's a sad day for everybody because it's going to be a havoc of a household because it's gonna be very hard for me to trust you. I'm gonna constantly think about this situation. We are gonna have a big battle. So I can't say I would stay because we we that's a lot. Like we wouldn't we might not work because I'm damaged goods now. Like for you, for everybody. I'm damaged for myself, whatever. Mm-hmm. Now, what I will say, if I did stay, bring me that baby. Like where the baby gonna go? Like if I was to stay, I gotta take your baby. Like what, what will make you stay? Um, love. That's the only thing. The, the father of my children, you, you, I love you. We're married. I'm committed to you for better or for worse. That's what we're here for. But I cannot say personally that I say for sure that I could stay because see me again, I've said this in the other side in other episodes. I have a hard time letting things go. That is a big let go. Like that's like a big, 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 deep. So do you down. think stipulations on your love? Um, hmm. So we all, I think that unconditional, you don't know if it's unconditional until the time happens. Mm-hmm. So like till circumstances show that this is unconditional, right? So there's times that we do each things that we don't like, but it's unconditional. We hear like, uh, cool, right? But we really don't know what's absolutely unconditional until the time comes. Like you don't, you never know. You wake up, I don't know, your lover might kill somebody or da da da. And it's like, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? You know what I'm saying? You don't know. Until you're in the situation, but um, up until that situation, it's unconditional because I have no reason to say otherwise. You know what I'm saying? But until that point, I don't know. Now, if it's something like my love is not like it's unconditional because obviously if you're not hurting me, but once you hurt me, I have the right to choose myself. It doesn't mean I'm no longer unconditional to you. But I could love you from a distance and be unconditional. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I could definitely love myself more enough to know that I can't handle this. I have to love me more. I have to have more unconditional love than I have for you. Mm -hmm. So it just really depends. Like, that's why I said, I personally, just to be honest, I don't think I could sit through that. I know myself, like where I am right now, I'm not at the ending of my journey of ultimate, you know what I'm saying? Inner peace and can look over and forgive those who do me wrong. And you know what I'm saying? I'm working on the way there. But in this very second, I don't think I could do it because I know our household is going to be crazy. Like, it's going to be crazy. I'm not going to forgive you. I'm not going to trust you. Like, everything that we have built, we no longer have nothing to stand on. Like, you have a whole dead baby mama and a baby. Yeah. And uh, dead daughter. Excuse me. R.I.P. to them, too, because that's a sad story. Uh, what I will say is, like, shout out to the women that do stay through that and really stay yeah, in. Wipe, and they go through therapy and they and they really put that behind them. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with... uh it's hard pill. It is. Shout out to those women because that's a love that's unconditional. What I what I wanted to go into is a lot of times men learn their lessons through hard hard times like that, right? I was telling you about how I learned my lesson of cheating, right? And um and I feel like I had a, like my one of my girlfriends was like my best friend, and I feel like the hurt that I seen I put her through, I would never want to put that through somebody else, right? Like I would never want you to go through that. So I I always vow to myself that I wouldn't cheat on another woman because like that just was fucked up when you had somebody that had your back a hundred percent you know what i'm saying you don't do that um i feel like a lot of these times that like men just we just not ready you know what i'm saying we we we, we rush into relationships because of a um a, a impulse and we we didn't really take the time to look in the mirror and see if we was ready for that and a lot of times like honestly Fear is a motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was always just taught to, like, run towards your fears. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're scared, you run towards it. But a lot of men just ain't ain't ready for it. And you can't blame somebody for not being ready for it. So, uh, it is a hard pill to swallow. The only thing I can say about it is... Could you do it? Could I do it? If you... If your wife had a side nigga and, um, had... Well, she can't have two kids because you know because it's... You know, that yeah. much. Um, saying, that doesn't really work the same but if she did have a side nigga for two years the nigga dies and that's when you find out that she had a side nigga for two years no nah. i mean yeah it's just like i'm sorry like i wish shout to- out to the niggas who could hold on to that lady for after that you know what i'm saying shout out god bless y'all you know what i'm saying y'all out here sticking it out with you know your wifey after she done left y'all for two years you know what i'm saying left it 
shout out to y'all because y'all the real MVP because it's not a lot of y'all as y'all can see. You know, shout out to the certified side niggas out here. Certified. Can I see your um, husband? Your, your questions. What questions? Let me see. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm curious oh. to see how this works. Let me see. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> Right, I'm so excited. On. International vacation on new TV. Oh, international you know, international vacation. me, baby. TV show or movie? TV show. I'm a good job, baby. You know me, TV show me up. You Anybody ain't say hotel or Airbnb. Airbnb. I didn't. Um, I might have to skip it. Skip dinner date or cook meal? I don't know that. I think cook meal, but I want to say a dinner date because you cook. Because if we do the cook meal, I'm going to be the one cooking. So yeah, I'm going to say dinner, dinner date. date. <laughs> Period. Uh, <laughs> kickback or bar lounge? Bar lounge. I'm a bar lounge lady. Put me in a good aesthetic. Some hookah. <laughs> Speak your mind or stay silent. Speak, Speak your, your mind. mind. You got I got all on right. rice over. I got all on rice over. Right. All right. Well, I didn't guess yours. I could have guessed <laughs> yours too. Fuck no. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but you know. Uh, making love or beating it down. <laughs> Beat it down. You know <laughs> what the fuck is going on? All right. You like, you like, Sorry. you like bald, trim, or bush? <laughs> Wait, what? You added that in there. I didn't put that in there. Mm-hmm. Wait, say it again. Bald, bald, trim, or bush? I ain't gonna lie. I like a man's man. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no bald baby. You know what I'm saying? Bush, trim. Trim uh, and bush. Uh, <laughs> like, be it just, I, I, I'm not with the, like, I don't so like I don't bald babies. Clippers, clippers right now? Nah, you need to shape up. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, how you feel about um <laughs> Dwayne? <laughs> how you feel about we Dwayne? We not about to do is just speed past that like that and just go down. <laughs> Jay, Jay we not about run. to just speed past that. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> how you um? <laughs> how you feel about Dwayne Wade man, opening up about his uh his transgender child? I feel like so Dwayne Wade and Princess Zaya. So this is how I feel. You know, you got to love your child unconditionally. I actually adore the way that D. Wade is handling, you know what I'm saying, his kids. Like, at the end of the day, I think our generation prior to us, we were not, like, they were not welcoming. Like, you had to do exactly what they want you to do, how they want you to do it. And if you didn't do it that way, you're either disowned, you got to get out the house, or, you know, you're you're not, I'm not buying you this anymore. Go figure it out on your own. I really do recommend, like, I really do appreciate the parents who accept their child for who they are. And I do mean that in every way, not just if they're changing their sex and they want to be something other than what they were born. I'm talking about all, oh, you got to understand, Kids grow up to be different things every single day. Mm-hmm. Like some kids might grow up to be complete criminals, like straight up. Like you got to understand some kids might grow up to be all these different things. I'm not saying you have to completely condone it, but you do have to accept them. That's your child. You have to love them. You can teach them what you want, but if they choose the opposite, you cannot love your child any less. Like that's your baby, period. Mm-hmm. I completely think Dwayne Wade is handling this as a black man mm-hmm. phenomenally. Yeah. I, I definitely applaud him like all across the board. hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, um, 12 years old. I don't think I'm accepting that from my child. Right. Uh, shout out to Dwayne Wade. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm accepting that from my child. I actually feel like we got that video of the, uh, the chicken up. Yeah. Can we play that for a second? Um, probably just, yeah. Let's see this real quick. Do we have to? No, we don't have to log in. Bet. Let's see this real quick. Can we play that? Oh, yo, yo. There we go. Oh, these motherfuckers is tripping. Now, I see everybody talking about this, but I don't see nobody saying what really needs to be fucking said. So listen up. Now, first things first. This is a 12 year old boy. 12. He probably doesn't even order his food when they go out to eat. He probably changes what he wants to be when he gets older every five seconds. He might not even be into girls yet, if that's what he gonna be into. My point is he is not old enough or mature enough to decide whether he wants to switch genders or not. That is a life changing decision. He hasn't even experienced manhood yet. And you telling me he's ready to be a woman? If my son woulda woke up to me and say that shit, I'm not taking no bullshit ass excuse like, I wanna live my truth. No, little nigga, you need to live your life as a boy because that's what the fuck you are. Now, that's my initial response. But after that, I'm 
don't want to tell him you need to go to counseling. Because obviously you think something is wrong if you don't want to be a boy anymore. Now I know this may upset some of you. You might think it's homophobic, transphobic, gender, whatever the fuck, phobic. But the truth hurts sometimes, my nigga. And this shit needs to be said. I cannot sit back no longer and allow y'all to enable this bullshit. If someone is sick, you give them medicine. If someone is an alcoholic, you take them to treatment. If someone is on drugs, you take the drugs away. But if somebody is born with gender dysphoria or think they were born in the wrong gender, you enable them to continue to think that? Or wouldn't it make sense to get them help? And I get it. Dwayne Wade was trying to do what most parents want to do, which is the best thing for their child. You want to support them, be non-judgmental, be there for them. I get it. But this is not support. This is enabling. This is supporting mental illness. I bet you if he got up and said, Ruff, Ruff, Daddy, I want to be a dog. He would not be on Ellen talking about some goddamn supportive parenting. He would have been like, nigga, you ain't no goddamn dog. Let's go. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Shout I, um, out to Shorty. I feel like that's how I feel. Uh, but what I will say is, um, hearing Dwayne Wade, he said he took all the steps to help. Yeah. So I'm assuming he already took him to therapy. This, so, yeah, so what? Shout what out to I, Dwayne Wade again. Yeah, again, shout out to Dwayne Wade. So this is the only thing. So I actually, a lot of what she said made complete sense to me. But the only thing is to me, and I expressed this to Jay earlier, is there's a whole genre of people that are like, what? I know since I was six years old, I've been trying to tell everybody. I've been telling y'all. Y'all didn't want to listen. I've been showing y'all. I knew since I was seven. Scratch I've that. been know that. Scratch like, that. Like, my thing is, what do we tell that generic right. of people? Scratch that. Like, Scratch that. that they're not? Scratch that. I might come to you right now and say she's gay. What do you do? <laughs> That's the easiest thing. No, set. I... So, this is the thing. Damn. All right, all right. Here, here, all right. Real shit, real shit, real shit, real shit, real shit. It would be extremely hard for me to accept. And I would have to dig deep within myself because that would be something... I would really be challenged with like I like I, it would hurt me like like I, I wouldn't know really how to deal with it and I would probably have to seek counsel of my own first mm. because I wouldn't know how to deal with that up front I'm just being absolutely honest my daughter has actually come to me and talked about her friends saying like they you know what I'm saying like girls and I've asked her like I was like what you she was like no no but if she came to me like I would have to first seek counsel for myself because I don't know how I would proceed um but to be honest after that I would definitely have to take the counsel away for her after I get my own counsel. But if comeback results and the counselor's like, yo, you got to let, I'm going to have to go back to my spiritual cleanse. So you know what I'm saying? To get some groundedness, to understand how to move forward and to deal with my new frown, him, Dom, child. Yeah. Uh, a man, not Amaya. <laughs> I, it's, it's crazy because like, um, it's a man. <laughs> it's crazy because like, uh, so, it's just, yeah. it and is, then, but with a boy, it's yeah, also it's completely I was, I was different. About to say like, I was about you know, I have a daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I would just don't, you know, I want my daughter to be, you know, like her mother, a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? From birth and on the way on, smart, intelligent, all that. You know, later I want to see her get married to a man. You know what I'm saying? Procreate with my dark skinned baby, chocolate grandsons. Like, you know what I mean? That's what I want. Um, but again, like unconditional, you know what I'm saying? I also love my daughter with all my heart. So like, I could only imagine I do too. if she comes to me with anything he does, um, I'm rocking out with her a hundred percent, no matter what she, you know what I'm saying? Whatever she, like, I know there's going to be things that I disapprove of as she gets older. I've already accepted that. Cause there was a tons of things that I did that my mom disapproved of. Mind you, one is having her at 18, what up? but I would have to, like, I would not, I never disown my baby. What I will ever. say is, honestly, and I, it's crazy, I, I'm going to kind of end on this. <laughs> you really, you can't say this shit all you want, bro, until it happens. Because, like, maybe, oh, I'm, sorry, I'm Amaya, say something crazy. Amaya probably can tell me anything she want on, under the sun, and I would accept it. Just mm -hmm. being real. So, like, yeah. like just being somebody yeah, that's, definitely that's, way more accepted than I am. I'm that's like, new into this parent yeah. thing, I feel like, it's easy to pa to pass judgment and yeah. until you're there because like at this point like Amaya could tell me anything yeah. she want and I'm be like okay that's what we done you know what I'm saying so yeah. it's like yeah we just gotta be careful you know what I just thought of crazy thought nobody shoot me 
maybe this is D-Wade's karma because you know he had a break baby on Gabrielle Wait, Union. why is that karma though? Come on, we can't you do know, that. And he just, I'm not saying karma, I but mean, I'm but just you saying, said it. you know, like the crazy thing is, you know, he just also came out and talked about how he had that break baby during him and uh, uh, Gabrielle Union, how that was like the hardest time in his life having to tell the woman he loves that he had another baby with or, his friend. Or maybe, or yes, maybe, he did. or maybe. Honey, what you got to say, Alex? What you got to say? But, but if it was a break baby, did, can you be penalized for what come on, she come did? Come on, what, what I'm saying if, is... If the break is dedicated to us focusing on careers, what the fuck you doing having a baby with your friend? Oh, that's fact. Your friend, uh, Aja. But, but, so your my, friend. My thing is... My thing is... Hmm. Or maybe it's his blessing because okay. he's oh handling God. this like... First of all, he's handling this like a lot of men probably wouldn't have. You yeah. see how many people are judging him. Yeah. And I feel like this is an eye-opener for so many yeah. other men. So this could be his blessing instead of his karma. Well, well one thing that I noticed, uh, what's the guy, Eric? What, what, Eric, the one we just... Eddie discussed. Curry. Eddie Curry, D. Wade, all of them. This, this, These stories are very common in the internet, uh, entertainment and sports industry. And something me and Jay was discussing is just like how they come into the game so young with millions of dollars they didn't get time to prep how to be a man how to have their principles how to have all these things and they make all these mistakes and people frown upon them as if they knew better but they really just didn't know better you're right babe hey you know what i mean um you're right babe. i think we can end it on there because think Listen, on that, man. period yeah give me every drop shout out to bel <laughs> The gang, Gemini Scorpio podcast. The gang all in here. All you right, Mom and Monique, Alex and Alex. We out. Gemini Scorpio podcast, Period, man. Fool. Subscribe. You know the vibes. Push the notification button. All that. Um, and donate to us, man. We need this money. 99 cents to $10. What you we want? We out. It's a wrap. <laughs>